Previously on Avocado Land. Michoacan is essentially the avocado capital of the world. I've learned so much on my quest to understand why avocados from Mexico are always so delicious. I've watched the entire process from when the tiny avocado trees are planted at the nursery to when it's time to pick the fruit. My turn? Very good, Jax. <laughs> Now I continue my tour of the packing house to watch the final steps in the avocado's journey in Mexico. So this is where the process for packing begins. They bring in the fruit lot by lot. This is the feeder. The feeder is where they're cleaned, where they're brushed. I didn't expect to walk into this buzzing factory where there was all these moving parts. There's so many steps that happen in such a short amount of time, it's incredible. And everything is so precise and so mechanized that there's this beautiful choreographed dance to everything that happens here at the packing house. Depending on what size the avocado is, the computer will know exactly what pack line to drop it on. Now their job is to visually grade it. One is for retail, two is for food service. This is the scale and the labeler. Every avocado gets labeled by size, and we have stickers for small, medium, and large. That's how we know exactly what box to pack them in, depending by size. So now that the machine did its part by weighing the fruit and labeling it by size, we now have all our packers that are grading it out by visual quality. The avocados are inspected and resorted one last time before being placed in the packing boxes. So this is our biggest cooler. Everything's been packed, cooled down, staged, ready for shipping. So this fruit was harvested yesterday, packed yesterday, cooled overnight. Now we're loading it, finishing off the truck, and it's on the way to the border, to Texas. It'll be there in 17 hours. Wow, that's fast. I think what I found most surprising was how short the time is from when the fruit is picked here in Michoacan to when it hits my grocery store or my plate. The fruit that gets harvested today winds up making it to the US in three to five days. So you could be seeing something that I saw here today five days from now. Joven, ¿a dónde va? A Reynosa. Reynosa is a border town on the Mexican side of McAllen. McAllen is a port of entry. Their avocados will be distributed all over the country. What an amazing day at the packing house. Everything is so clean and efficient. I think I finally understand why these avocados always taste so fresh and incredible once they hit my plate. Now I'm heading to scenic Lake Pazcuaro for a farewell breakfast with Ramon, Armando, and Ron Campbell. Ramon told me I could learn more about avocados from Mexico, as well as the Pura Pechas people who will be preparing our meal. I see Ramon and he welcomes me to this beautiful breakfast with the most amazing view I've ever seen. This is Welcome. so beautiful. Yeah, well, this is Haciendo Casanastaqua. It's a very nice hotel here in the core of the Michoacan area. Michoacan is a beautiful state. You have the lakes, you have mm -hmm. the mountains where avocados grow. And this is the Pascoro Lake. This is the core of the land of the Purépechas. The Purépechas is the native people that has been here in Michoacán since old times, before the, the arrival of the Spaniards. They are a very unique people. Their language and their culture is very different from Aztecs or from Mayas or from other people in Mexico. And uh, we will have some of their food. These Pura Pecha women, they're hand grinding the masa to make the tortillas and frying them up right in front of us. And I know I'm in for a treat. Well, let me tell you what we're going to have now. We have two different types of cheese. This is a tomato sauce on the cheese. The other dish is with a mole sauce uh, made of sweet pepper. And then this is very typical of all of Mexico, but also here in Michoacán, chilaquiles. chilaquiles. It's, it's tortilla chips with cream and salsa. Here we have enfrijoladas. It's a sweet tortilla with beans. It's very typical. That was my breakfast all my childhood. <laughs> Some sweet bread that we can use with the coffee. And here we have a very specific type of tamales from this area. They are made of sweet corn, and the name is Suchepos. And then, of course, we can add avocados on it. And here we of have some, we need avocados. Some, some avocados. Mm. We can add avocados to any of these dishes. And as, as you know, they make any of our food better. So enjoy. How do you say that in Spanish? Buen provecho. Buen provecho. I love tamales. This is a really special meal because I've had Mexican food before, but I've never had this indigenous pura pecha cuisine. So there's all these new flavors that I'm getting to try that are 
totally foreign to what I know as Mexican food, but so delicious. It's like a new take on Mexican cuisine that I've never had before. I'm trying all of these new flavors and they're all so incredible. And then everything's made even better by this perfect fresh sliced avocado from probably a few miles from here. It's an extraordinary example of benefits of trade between the United States and Mexico. And it started with Apien, the, the growers and packers. And when they first started shipping, it was new to the United States. On the northern side of the border, the importers created a industry-initiated and industry-funded marketing and promotion program called the Mexican Haas Avocado Importers Association, which eventually partnered with Apien, the growers, packers, and exporters to create Avocados from Mexico, which is our marketing brand. benefits don't end here. Mm -hmm. The economic benefits and the benefits to Michoacan are also flowing over the border to the United States. There's 3.1 billion in spending, 2.5 billion to the GDP, almost 8,000 good paying jobs. American jobs. Mm -hmm. 2.1 billion in labor income and 600 million in state and federal taxes paid in just one year. So it's a pretty amazing piece of fruit. My favorite part about this whole thing is that it's coming from these small family orchards, these huertas where these people are putting you know, their love and their heart into the product. It's so great to like be at a table with you guys who are putting in the work to make sure there's such a quality product and you to make sure it gets to us in just under five days so it's super fresh and just like it was picked from the tree. We say that we are always in season and now you know why we have mm -hmm. food all year round. So now you've seen where the avocados come from, are you ready to see where they're going? Yes, what's next? Well, after we're finished breakfast, we're going to beautiful downtown Philadelphia to a distribution center. Lovely. I think you'll enjoy it. I had such an incredible time in Mexico. And now I'm off to Philadelphia to see the last piece of the puzzle. Hey, hey Jax, Michael. how you doing, Michael? So how nice you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet thanks you for too. having me today. No, thanks for coming. Can we to see what goes on stateside here? Uh, absolutely, come right on in. I'm in Philadelphia. We're here at the packing facility. I'm super excited to see all of the avocados that I saw being handled with so much love and care in Mexico finally get treated here and how they eventually make it to my plate. So here we are at the loading dock and we just had a truckload of avocados arrive and they're ready to be offloaded and put into production or into storage until needed for customers. So these are straight from Mexico? Yes, they are. And about how many days till it gets from Mexico to show up at your doorstep? Three days to come in here. Three days, that's yes. it? Yes, it is. Wow. Yes. All right, let's see what's next. Well, after the avocados get unloaded off the truck, we take them and put them into the coolers here for storage, long-term or short-term. And depending on what our need is at the time for that avocado is whether it goes in here or if it goes straight to production or straight into a ripe room. It's literally avocados as far as the eye can see. And the cool thing is every single box has a label on it. So just like when I saw in Mexico, every step of the way is being tracked so that there's accountability and there's uniformity and there's just like freshness that's sort of built into the entire process. Here we're coming into production where so cool. we can see them taking boxes of avocados and dumping them onto the tray. They go up and then they get sorted out on this line based on their degree of oil or dry matter. And then that gives us an even box for the customer. So each piece should be the same ripeness. We have so many customers and each one wants it a different way. So we need to configure it to the customer's needs. This production room is huge and I'm so happy to throw in the hairnet and the gloves and actually get in there. So you're looking for uniformity of size, looking for good coloring and making sure that they're free of defects. And then <laughs> if you also take a look on the sticker, it has a packing house number there. We're able to use that to trace back to the packing house in Mexico and eventually to the grower whose uh, farm or grower came from. That's the coolest thing about this whole thing to me is that for every step along the way, I see how each avocado can be traced literally back to the grower where it was grown. Yes. There's so many different processes that go into the avocado that hits your plate. You just never think about how many people put their care and tenderness and love into this thing that you sort of just feast on with reckless abandon. So after we get done packing, we go into one of our ripening rooms These here with the product. These are all the ripening rooms. Yes, they are. We have 24 ripening rooms. 24? Wow. 
This part is so cool. These state-of-the-art ripening rooms. This is where the magic happens. We ripen at 68 degrees, and then they go in here from anywhere two to six days, depending on what the customer's requirement is, down to 38 degrees for cooling, and then that shuts down the ripening, and then we ship it out to the customer on one of our outbound loading docks. So this is the final stage of the journey. We've seen it all the way from Mexico to here at the packing plant, and now it's going off into the world. I'm heading to a local Philly restaurant tonight, so I've got my own box of avocados that are coming with me. I cannot wait to see what the chef does with these. Thank you so there much. You go. You're welcome, and have a great dinner. I will. I will enjoy these thoroughly. Hey, Chef. Hey, how you doing? Special delivery for you. Awesome, perfect. We serve about a quarter million avocados a year out of here. Wow. Yeah. We're going to do a shrimp quesadilla open face Ooh. with an avocado crema and avocado. So we're going to use these beautiful avocados. They are beautiful, aren't they? So what kind of sauce is that? Pasilla chili. And then uh, these are just some uh, wild shrimp that have been seasoned in the same pasilla marinade. Is that a quesadilla unless you have cheese, right? No. Nice. So while that's in the oven, this came to me today. We're going to use these <laughs> avocados. And they're perfect. They're nice and soft, but not too soft. And we're going to make a spin on horchata, which is the rice cinnamon drink. I'm going to drop a little bit of that in. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. I mean, wow. Now that you're drinking that, I'll pull the uh, quesadilla out of the oven. We'll finish that out. That smells Cheese awesome. Cheese is nice and melted. Yum. And on top of that, we have here, we call it avocado espuma. For garnish, we're just going to take some of this avocado. We're just going to drape that over the shrimp. Oh, that looks so good. Thank you so much, Chef. You're very welcome. Enjoy it. I'm going to go. Thank you for coming. Taste test. As I sample the delicious avocado-inspired food at El Vest, I reflect on my unbelievable journey. I came to Mexico to try and satisfy my curiosity about this healthy, fresh, and always delicious superfruit. It was so great to meet Ramon as he guided me on my journey exploring all over Michoacan. From the loving care shown in the nursery, to the accountability during harvest, to the traceability of distribution. I think I'm starting to understand why this fresh, tasty, and magical treat always makes me smile.